Hello, John Glover here. What we are going to demonstrate now is aluminum shaping. There are many skills to learn besides using the English wheel, and I'm going to demonstrate some of these for you also. We have chosen some panels and shapes that you are likely to encounter, and our objective is to help you in the thinking process in the making of these shapes. I'm going to demonstrate some of the procedures and problems that you are likely to come across, and I've made some egg crate box for this purpose. Let's have a look at them. Let's take a look at this box. As you can see, we have a crown along the top here. The top surface is flat until we meet up with the radius. The radius is on that one inch crown that we have. All the compound shape is in here theoretically. We have a flat surface here both ways. So you would think this is the only area that would need to be treated, but not so. We'll get to that. Let's have a look at another buck. This is similar, but the difference is the crown is this way, along this long flat wall. We are dead flat on top, no compound shape at all, until we get into this radius. So all the compound shape is in here initially, and we flow into this flat shape, and there are some problems, but we will address them. Another buck here. This is a section that will be from the cockpit to the towel plane. Now this has a crown in it, approximately three quarters of an inch. The crown is all the way around with the rock. And so it didn't look like there's much shape there, but if you were to see the actual panel and we just get the edges flat, you'd see a tremendous amount of shape, probably about four inches of crown. We'll get to that. Let's have a look at some practical applications on photos. Here's a practical application for that last buck we were talking about. From the cockpit back to the towel, we'll wrap around on top here. This is the buck that we would call the bulge up. The other one bulged out, so that differentiates between the two. And uh, we'll show you a picture of an application for this particular panel. This is a P51 belly scoop. And just here is the panel that we were just talking about. It's the bulge up. You can see the application for it quite clearly here. Here is the, the bulge out one. We're flat on top. We have our sweep here with all the compound here. And we'll have a look at uh, an application for this. This is the application for the bulge out panel. This fits on the front of a, an old race car. Here's the panel that's in place now. It bulges out here. It's flat on the top. That's a good application for that panel, although that can apply to some parts of an aeroplane too. We have another unique panel to discuss right now. This is a unique little buck. We call it the cockpit canopy. The features on this buck are we have a lot of shape in this area, which is about a quarter of the buck. The side pieces, they're flat across. Although they have shape here, they're flat. We have the same situation here. We're flat across, but we have a crown here. So all the work will be done in this area and we just tail out to this area. A point to note here that a flat area is uh, very difficult, but you can put all the shape in here. You do have to wheel out to the edges of the panel. A good application for this is here. Here is the position for the application for that panel we were talking about, the cockpit canopy. It's symmetrical, so it will do for the right hand and the left hand. Let's talk about the amount of shape there is in all these panels. Here's a panel that we've made to suit this particular buck. Notice that it fits. Uh, assuming these edges were still rocking a little more, let's bring them out, needed to go down, that's wrong thinking. The edges do not come down. We always have to raise the panel up so that the edges can settle. 
we should see how much shape there is in this. It's deceiving. You think there's just a little bit of shape here with the flats. If I was to squish this down on a table, which I'll do now, remember all your panels start from flat, just like this. Here's a blank, which will be for that panel. And I'll put this down here, and I'll, I'll bring all my edges down flat to the table. You can see that there's quite an amount of shape in here. And the shape goes all the way to the edges. It's not just in this humped area. We should discuss this on the board where I can go into greater detail. <laughs>